Greetings everyone, this is Danny from hardtravel.com and today I wanna to talk to you about Viking Expeditions. This is a brand new product that is just getting ready to launch. It is ready to book and it's unlike anything else that their competition has done. So I'm really excited to share with you today a little bit about the ship, the experience, the rooms, and just an overall glance of what you're gonna get with Viking Expeditions. In true Viking style, they are not putting out just one ship, but two right away, and you can believe that for sure they're gonna be putting out more coming up very soon. Viking has a massive, massive following, and these two ships I know are gonna sell really, really quick. In fact, I think the hardest part is gonna actually be to get space on the ships. So the Viking Octanus and the Polaris are the two new ships, and they are designed as polar expedition ships. So they're polar ice rated to a six category, which means they can do the summer and the autumn in Antarctica, and then this ship will also go all the way up to the top of the Arctic Arctic, so the Arctic Circle essentially, and it will also go all the way into the Great Lakes. So I'm really excited about that. But they've designed this for a lot of different functions. And as I talk about the ship and I show you more about it, you're gonna really understand why this ship is perfect for expeditions because you've got glass everywhere, you've got views everywhere, and some really unique and interesting concepts that have never been put on a ship before. All right, so these ships are gonna be a little bit over 30,000 gross tons with under 400 passengers. So there's some luxury lines that actually put 700 passengers on the same size ship. So it's gonna have a phenomenal space ratio and it's a unique size for an Arctic expedition vessel. So one of the unique features on board these ships is the U-tank stabilizer. So it's an interesting concept where basically you have a large ballast tank, the water can move back and forth and of course they can load more or empty it as they need to do. But what that's gonna do is it's going to allow the ship to not rock side to side. The side to side roll movements are the ones that actually cause most problems for people. And because once again, the ship is going all over the world to just about every single place that, it poss that you possibly can go with a ship, you're gonna want this feature. So many of you have seen our ship tours and what we always do is we start at the very top of the ship and we work our way down. This is a little unique for us because of course we have not yet been on the ship yet, nobody has, uh, but there's some really, really cool graphics, uh, sketches and kind of what the ship is going to look like. And I, to be honest with you, I've been completely blown away. So right now I'm gonna start with some familiar spots to those of you who are big Viking fans. And that would be the very front of the ship is the Explorer's Lounge. So it's two levels high, just like on the other ships. Design is a little bit different, but it's the same concept. You kind of have that runway, walkway up on the top level. And then down below, you're gonna have the bar and a lot more seating. But the idea is the giant glass windows in the front give you amazing views everywhere that this ship is going to sell. Just behind the Explorer's Lounge, upper level to the aft, you're gonna find the library. So Torstein Hagen, who's the chairman and CEO of Viking, always loves to talk about the fact that this is a thinking man's cruise and not a drinking man's cruise. But of course there's a bar in there as well, won't mention that. But I did wanna point out that the whole concept behind this is meant to be like a familial style. This is something where you might spend 40, 50 days on a ship. You know, maybe you're just doing it for a shorter period of time, but the whole concept behind, you know, the library, the bar, and the living room is to make it feel like you are at home. And right behind that is Mamson's Deli with the same concept of getting up and going to get a sandwich, or, you know, making yourself a sandwich. Of course, somebody's gonna do that for you and don't forget to check out the waffles. So just after that is going to be the World Cafe. So this is a really large space. It's a casual eatery, and it's where most people are gonna have most meals on board the ship. If you continue on further back, it's something that I am incredibly excited about. So all of the Viking river ships have an Aquavit Terrace, all the Viking ocean ships do, and now the expedition ships will as well, but with a completely different and unique feature. So there's two hot tubs essentially that are outside, pools, hot tubs, and then there's one that you can go inside and outside. So they put the glass down and you can actually swim underneath it and go to an inside area and escape the Arctic. But I can imagine swimming out there in the hot tub, looking at this unbelievable scenery and really just taking it all in. It's a really, really impressive feature. So if you step down a deck, you're gonna be at mostly a passenger deck, uh, but I did wanna point out that they do have self-service laundrettes on there for you, so you can do your own laundry if you are interested in doing that. Of course, you can send it out as well and pay roughly hotel prices. Also on deck three, they're gonna have the future cruise sales where you can book your next adventure. It's always the best time to do it because you're excited about it, but also you get the best deals and then that booking gets transferred right back to your travel agent. You also are gonna have the shop. That's where you can find all your fun Viking logo gear, but also where you're gonna find things that are specific to the region in which you're selling. Down on deck two, you're gonna find Expedition Central. So this is the space where you're gonna do everything to do with your shore excursions and the expeditions themselves. They're gonna be able to answer all of your questions and you can do some planning here as well. Just aft of Expedition Central is the Nordic Spa. This is something that Viking has had an amazing amount of success with their ocean vessels, and of course they've doubled down on it here. The views are incredible. I mean, you look out at a massive panoramic window, you're in the hydrotherapy pool, and I can imagine myself sitting back, putting my feet up, and you know, waving at some penguins going by. 
it's a perfect space. They really want you to feel like you're home here. So this is the way that you can treat your body better. And you also have a fitness center right across and a salon as well. So if you are making this your home for an extended period of time, you have all of those comforts. As you continue on aft, you find a space that I think is truly mind boggling. It is beautiful, it is stunning, and I can't wait to see it in person. That is the Aula. So every single expedition ship that I've ever been on and everyone that I know of has some kind of theater because they're gonna bring on experts that are gonna talk about what you're seeing, what you're going to experience, and even debrief you on it when you come back in. But what Viking has done is they've completely doubled down on that. They've made a two-story theater that has a massive screen, and when the screen comes up and the shades come up, what you're gonna get is the most epic panoramic views out the back of the ship. It's, it, it looks absolutely breathtaking in the images and I can only imagine what it's gonna look like in person. And one other great thing is if you open up the, the windows and, and the doors, you're gonna head right on out to a beautiful, beautiful terrace. So this is another public space that you can utilize. It's off the back of the ship. It looks like they have a really unique uh, heating fire feature out there as well. And I just can't wait to see what they do with it. Down on deck one, you're gonna find the explorer's desk and you're also gonna find the two seated restaurants. So you have the restaurant and then you also have Manfredi's. Fun fact for those of you who don't know, Manfredi is the last name of the owner of Silver Seas Cruises, actually half owner, because they, they just sold out to uh, Royal Caribbean, but uh, it's one of Torstein Hagen's best friends and so he named it after him and you're gonna find the same restaurant on board the Viking Ocean vessels as well. At the very back and bottom of the ship, you have the hangar. It's a two-story facility, and it's what Viking Cruises believes will change the entire game. So one of the worst parts of going to Antarctica is having to get on and off the Zodiacs because you only can go as fast as everybody who can get on and off of them. Most expedition ships only have one place to load those. Some of the new ones have added a second one on the other side, so you have two mudrooms, a um, bit of a game changer in, in that sense. But what they've done is they've taken it to the next level. So instead of having Zodiacs on board, they're gonna have ribs. Those are rigid inflatable boats and basically they have more structure, they've got bigger engines, they've got a lot longer distance that they can go. Um, so this is going to allow Vikings passengers with that low count to have more time in Antarctica. And one thing that I noticed on some of the, the itineraries that we've been looking at, you know, days 4 through 12 are in Antarctica. That's an incredible amount of time and they have so many different things that you can do. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to get in the boat inside the ship, so you're not freezing cold outside, you're not worried about getting on and off in an unstable environment, you get on, they're gonna roll it down the back of the, uh, of the ship, you head on out, and then they take off. So it's meant to be the most comfortable way to explore Antarctica. One other incredibly unique and cool feature is the submarines that they're gonna have on board. So they're gonna have two six passenger, and yes, they are yellow submarines. So maybe if your wife kicks you out of the room, then of course you could live in a yellow submarine, um, and hopefully they visit Liverpool at some point coming up. But it's such a unique and interesting concept because Viking includes shore excursions in every one of their cruises. They also have upgraded options and things like that. Um, we're not quite sure exactly how all of that's gonna work in Antarctica yet, but they're saying that the submarines are included. And what that means is you can have 12 people People out on submarines, you know, dozens and dozens out on the ribs. You can have people that are preparing to go out on the Arctic because one of the limitations that, that causes a lot of problems in the Arctic is you're only allowed to have 100 passengers on land at a time. So some of their competitors have ships that are only 200 passengers, so they're always you know, on or getting ready to be on. But some of the other, other competitors have five, 600 passenger ships that go there where they basically have to go in shifts. So what Viking has believed that they've done is they've given everybody the opportunity to explore in a unique way and, and check out some of the most fascinating parts of our planet. Before we go ahead and talk about the suites and the staterooms, I just wanted to remind you that at Har Travel, we are your Viking experts. We know the Viking River Cruise product inside and out. I've sailed on it many, many times. I've led large groups, and I can show you how to get the most out of it, where we can handle your airfare, handle your excursions, and all the details, and most of all, advocate on your behalf. Same exact thing for the Viking Ocean product. Our, crew, our clients absolutely adore it. We sell a ton of it, and we can give you some of those insider tips, tricks, and secrets to make sure that you maximize your value. And you better believe that I will be on the first expedition ship the moment that I can so that I can film an actual ship tour, show you what it's all about, and of course we would love to book you there as well. Please keep in mind that you will never ever pay more for your Viking cruise by booking with Har Travel. You won't find a better deal from one of our competitors, and we can always beat what Viking offers directly. As we mentioned earlier in the video, one of the things that Viking passengers love the most is that your excursions are included on a Viking cruise, but the way that you get to choose them is completely based on the stateroom which you book. So the lead-in stateroom that we're gonna talk about is gonna be the Nordic Balcony, 222 square feet, and you can start booking your excursions 60 days prior to departure. 
This room is gonna have everything that you love in your Viking ocean ship, the heated bathrooms. It also has a really unique feature that's in all the rooms on board, and that is a floor to ceiling drying closet, which makes sense because this ship is gonna be all over the world. So if your jacket's wet from the snow, from the rain, from whatever, you can put it in there and it's gonna dry. And another incredible feature, of course, is the floor to ceiling windows. This is very similar to what some of their other competitors like Scenic and Celebrity Cruises have on, where you press one button and essentially the, uh, the window just comes down for you. And what that does is it maximizes the outdoor space. It does not really make sense in these staterooms to have a step out balcony because of where they're gonna be traveling to. So just like on their ocean vessels, one step up is gonna be the deluxe version of the same exact stateroom. It is identical, there's nothing different in the room. What's different is that you get earlier priority access, so you're gonna book your shore excursions a few days earlier, you get to book your spa appointments a little bit earlier as well, and then you're gonna have one guaranteed priority reservation at both Manfredi's and the restaurant. So the next step up is gonna be the Nordic Penthouse. So at 269 square feet, it's nearly 50 square feet larger than you're gonna find for those the standard verandas. Um, and you also get those incredible features. So you're gonna get 77 days prior, you can start booking your shore excursions. Um, and then you're also gonna get complimentary shoe shining and pressing, uh, early spa treatments. And in this category, you get two guaranteed restaurants at either Manfredi's or the restaurant. So the next level up is the Nordic Junior Suite at 322 square feet. You're now 100 square feet larger than those entry level rooms. And this is where you really start to see the amenities start to pile up. So you can book your ex expedition excursions 87 days prior. You can book your spa uh, treatments 80 days prior. You're also gonna get your mini bar that includes alcoholic beverages replenished every single day. Uh, you're gonna get in your room much, much, much earlier upon arrival. And then you're also gonna have complimentary laundry, pressing, and shoe shine. This comes in really, really big when you're doing these longer cruises to have the complimentary laundry in there. So now we're gonna to head to the very, very top of the ship to the Explorer Suites. So you're gonna find four of them up there and at 588 square feet, it is a tremendous size for an expedition vessel. They're gonna have essentially an all-inclusive experience because they throw in the Silver Spirits beverage package in there. You're gonna have all of your laundry taken care of. Of course, you have everything in the room already taken care of and you also have first dibs on all of the excursions. So because there's only a handful of them, you are definitely gonna get the exact choices that you want if you pick this stateroom. And another really unique and interesting feature on this is that the four staterooms actually have a shared garden space. So it's gonna be a unique social experience as well, but I think it's a really, really beautiful space. And at the being at the very top of the ship, you are gonna get an incredible view. Right across from the four Explorer Suites and more than double the size of them is the owner suite. Every single Viking Ocean ship has a suite that has basically been curated by the owner himself, Torstein Hagen, and this is no exception to that. So over 1,200 square feet, it is a massive, massive room, and you have over 700 square foot private garden space just for the owner suite. So once again, this takes up the entire space that the four Explorer suites do, and their garden as well. So if you want that top of the line experience on Viking, this is it. And of course, as you would imagine, it's essentially a totally all-inclusive experience. You are the very first person that gets to pick your excursions. You're the very first person that gets to pick your spa treatments. You can dine at the restaurant and Manfredi's pretty much whenever you want. And of course, you are going to basically have access to everything the ship offers. Now that we've toured all of the suites and the staterooms on board, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the expedition experience in general. So right now, expedition cruising is in vogue. Every single major cruise line is putting out expedition ships. Viking, of course, is no exception. But one of the things that I really like that Viking has done is they waited a little bit longer than some of their competitors. A lot of their competitors have really hard trouble delivering the ships to market. And so they've seen what works and what doesn't work. And I really think they're gonna hit it out of the park with this one. What an expedition cruise is all about the destination. So of course these ships are rated to go to Antarctica. That's only gonna be a small part of the year that they actually experience. This ship is gonna to go to the Great Lakes. I'm incredibly excited about that. It's gonna cruise all around the world and it's gonna to get to some of those out of the way, obscure, smaller places that you really wanna explore. But as Viking says, you are gonna do it in comfort. So we wanted to give you an idea of what it costs to go on this ship. So here's some entry level pricing from the different locations that they're already scheduled to sail to. All right, so starting about $1,000 per person per day, which is the entry level for this product, you can board the ship in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. It sounds kind of weird to even say that, but they've built these ships specifically so that they get through all the locks from the Great Lakes out into the ocean. And of course, you're gonna have some great Canada Discovery cruises as well, including fall foliage. Then they're gonna to go to the Arctic. So in the Arctic, you actually go Tromso round trip. So that's Northern Norway, an incredible option. And from there, they're gonna head all the way down to Antarctica. So you can have a really, really epic, 
long distance uh, crews where you're repositioning with them. And along the way, there's several different segment cruises as well, where you're going to see the Northern Isles, you know, England, Ireland, and Scotland, head down to the equator uh, and explore South America. And then once you get all the way down there, it's going to head to Antarctica. That is the big finale that they have. It's a really, really, really awesome uh, itinerary product that they have there. And it's actually starting at a little bit over $1,000 per person per day. And if you think about that as a pretty much all-inclusive product, I think that it's a bargain for Antarctica. Thank you so much for taking your time to join us today. I did want to point out that everything that we have to this point is renderings. The product is ready to book. If you do not book that Antarctic se season right now, you are not going to get on it. It's just the way it is. Viking has a huge following. They fill up their ships all the time. So we want to make sure that you had first crack at it. Please note that as soon as we get more information, we will update this, of course. And then as soon as we get on that ship to fill an amazing ship tour, we will share it with you. So when you're ready to book your Viking river, ocean, or expedition, reach out to Hard Travel. We are the experts, and we promise to give you an incredible value for a vacation of a lifetime.